I'm Cara and today I'm going to take you through some relaxing lying down yoga poses. So when you're ready, come to lying down on your mat and you're going to bring your hands onto your belly, have your knees bent and just feel that the tailbone is nice and long, lower back connect connected to the earth, soles of the feet to the ground. And then just feeling the heels beneath the knees. So they're not too far away from the body. They're right beneath the knees. You're going to bring the hands from the belly to the ground. And on your next inhale, gently squeeze the glutes, lengthen the tailbone, and then start to lift the hips, coming up into your hip bridge. And just notice if the knees start to splay apart, try and squeeze them back in so that they stay hip width apart. Push the ground away with the hands and pushing through the feet. Holding another couple of seconds, two, one, and then slowly lowering down from the top of the spine. Allow the hips to come back down. Good, bring your left knee into your chest holding there for a moment. Then we're going to move from here to half happy baby. So your left knee comes wide of the ribs, the heel moves up to the sky, and then take hold of either your lower leg or your ankle, or if you can, take a hold of the outside of the foot. So whether you're holding the outside foot or the ankle or leg, just holding there, think about the shin as parallel up to the sky as possible and really feeling this knee come wide of the body so it's not into the body, it's all the way wide. The right hand is going to rest on the right hip. Maybe that's enough and you stay there or you can try extending the right leg towards straight. And if you do that, we're still pushing through that right foot. As you hold there, feel the shoulders loose and relaxed and focus in on your breath. Holding just for another breath or two. And then retrace those steps, so bend the knee, release hold of the foot, and bring the other foot back down to the ground. So we'll do the same with the right hand side. So start by hugging the right knee into the chest, hold there for a moment, think about the lower back connecting down to the earth, shoulders loose, back of the head heavy. And then we'll switch so the knee comes wide, heel goes up to the sky. Again, maybe you hold the shin or the ankle, or some of you will be able to take a hold of the outside of the foot. And you might notice the left hip starts to lift. Try and keep that left hip pressing down. And you want a vertical shin. If it does lift, then maybe hold the leg so that you can bring it back down. And only hold the outside of the foot if you can keep it down to the earth. Good. Again, focus on that steady breathing, pushing up through the heel of your foot. And then if you do want to go that bit further, extend the left leg out straight, push through the left foot as you hold that position. Keep pushing the left foot away. Nice steady breath in and out through your nose. And again, we'll retrace your steps. So bend your knee, release that leg, help it down to the ground. And then we're going to move to our full happy baby position. So we had the two legs one at a time, now we're going to try both together. So we'll start with hugging both knees into the chest. Again, just hold for a couple of breaths. Feel 
feel the shoulders loose and heavy, lower back long. And then bring the knees wide of the ribs. So again, they're outside the line of your body. Heels start to move up to the sky. And it might be that you hold the upper legs here. If that's already a good stretch, hold there. Or you might switch to the ankles. You want your arms to be inside. Or some of you, again, might hold the outside of the feet. So you feel your full happy baby. You find the hips might want to start to lift. So think about pressing the hips back down towards the earth, lower back, back down towards the earth. And again, relax your shoulders, relax your eyes. Soften the muscles on your face. Maybe even close your eyes. Focus in on your breath as we hold. Hold for a few really deep breaths, breathing right the way into your belly. And then take your time to slowly release the legs, bring them back down. Good, and then we're going to do a lying twist. So you're going to bring your left knee up to a 90 degree angle. Right leg extends straight. Roll the whole body over to the right hand side. Till the knee connects with the ground and then the left arm can open back to the side and you can always adjust where you are. Maybe the knee lifts off the ground slightly so that the shoulder can find the ground, but you can kind of adjust how your body is to make this pose work and feel good for your body. Good, maybe you've got a bend in the elbow or perhaps it feels good to have a straight arm. And again, maybe you close your eyes, soften the muscles on your face. You focus on nice deep breaths in and out through your nose. Think about your left hip crease pressing towards the bottom of your mat. As you breathe, breathing right the way deep into your belly. Nice, long, slow exhales. When you are ready, bring your left arm back over. Roll back onto your back. And then swapping over to the other side. So left leg extends straight. Right knee up at 90 degrees. Roll over to the left hand side. Again, maybe the knee finds the ground, holding that knee in place, opening the right arm out. And again, you can adjust. Maybe the knee lifts off for you. Maybe you can keep it to the ground, but you adjust it so that it feels good for your body and it doesn't feel too intense. It's a nice unwinding twist, but it's not too intense. You're not forcing anything in your body. But again, as you do find a comfortable position, we'll take the time to pause there. Breathe in and out through your nose, right the way to your belly.
and you're ready, bringing that right arm back over, rolling back onto your back. And then we're going to bring the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to rest apart. If you've got a bit of extra time here, you might want to put cushions beneath the knees for support. But for now, maybe you just bring your hands there to the upper leg to just help provide a little bit of support. Again, feel the shoulders loose, shoulder blades tucked beneath your body, back of the neck nice and long. And again, as you breathe, breathe right the way into your belly, nice and deep. And as soon as you feel ready, you can stay in this position or you can move legs lengthening out straight to your Shavasana, your final resting position, lying on your back, palms facing up to the sky. Again, face soft, shoulders loose. As you lie, you can just think about relaxing your body from the feet up. So nice and loose toes, relaxing all the way up the legs, across the hips, up your spine, across your shoulders, down your arms, relaxing your fingertips. back of the neck long, and all the muscles in your head and your face just feeling soft. Do feel free to stay here for as long as you like. Or if you are ready, then you can come up to sitting. Good, I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed. And do join me again, make sure you subscribe if, it, if you'd like to join for another class and do pass on to anyone that you know. Hope you have a lovely, lovely day.